so it is Monday May 4th and I'm actually visiting my family this week because I just needed like a change of environment and I haven't seen my family in like three months so um, I definitely wanted to come home and say hi and my mom's birthday is next weekend plus Mother's Day so I figured it's a good time to come home however I'm kind of miserable right now because I have the worst allergies here like so bad um, I don't know what I'm allergic to but I am sneezing up a storm I'm so stuffed and I took a Benadryl allergy so now I'm drowsy as heck um, so I'm gonna go to Starbucks and get a cold brew because I have a lot of work to finish and I gotta get in focus mode and I forgot because whenever I'm really struggling with focus I take my CBD focus which has like terpenes in it that help you focus and I forgot that back at home so I'm gonna go get a cold brew which is my also another thing I use to help me focus so going to do that um it's pretty warm it's like 80 degrees right now but I was freezing as well so I don't know why but um <laughs> yeah allergies suck honestly I think they're underrated like for how miserable hey guys so I'm waiting for my cold brew thought I would just talk to you guys about what I am working on today um, I'm helping that meal prep guy with his website and it's been a little bit hard to figure out what platform or integration to use for people to order food on the website and for him to receive that. Hold on, my cold brews already. Thank you. Thanks. You, have a nice day. you too. Cheers to that, my friends. That was weird. I they do things differently here than they do where I live. Um, but I like it. They actually like have gloves and masks on. Where I am at, they don't really wear masks at Starbucks. Well, they do now, but when I first went, when things started happening, no one was wearing masks and I was like, what the heck? I ordered was um, a Grande Nitro Cold Brew, three pumps of, here, I'll just show you guys the label. Um, it's pretty good though. I really needed this. So I'm gonna run into, um, oh wait, first, what I was saying was it's been a little bit hard to find integrations that are free or a lower cost because he is a new business and I always want to find like the cheapest way to do things for my clients. Um, but I found one called Gloria Food and I'm just a little nervous because the guy I talked to from the support team said it's not good for meal prep companies but I really feel like it's gonna work for his style of doing it so we're gonna try it out I need to work on that today so I'm hoping this gives me enough fuel even though I literally had coffee this morning I needed some more so, um, I'm gonna run into the store and grab a non drowsy allergy medication because the one I took was Benadryl way too drowsy um, so there's actually Walgreens right here I'm gonna run in, grab some Allegra, cause I know Allegra works for me. And then maybe some Flonies. I'm just gonna drug myself up so that I have no allergies, no sneezing. And supposedly it's required to wear a mask here or you're not allowed in. So thank God I have one with me. All right guys, I heard good things about this. Ready tab, cause they're non-drowsy. And they melt in your mouth. So I'm gonna take one right now. And I will let you guys know if it works for me because I know how miserable allergies can be. Okay guys, I just heated my lunch up. Um, I kind of meal prepped before I came here, so I just heated up one of my meals. And now I'm working on his website. And I'm going to design a header photo for him right now. So I'll show you guys what I do. <laughs> Tuesday, 9 a.m. My allergies are so much better today. So much better today. Um, I'm just getting some work done early this morning, and then I might do a little face mask because I'm like breaking out a little bit right here. 
but um, going to get work done. Hopefully gonna work out at noon and I will catch up with you guys in a few. <laughs> done as I can um, and something that I wanted to share with you guys that helped me a lot recently um, is I like to break up my day like in my work time in hours so from like 10 20 to 11 20 right now I'm gonna get um, at least one thing off of my to to-do list done um, and then just having like that in my head is a little bit less daunting than looking at the entire day ahead so I try and just look at the hour ahead of me and get even just three things done that I need to do. Um, so that helps me a ton. thought I would share that with you guys. And I actually was reading that book, um, You Are a Badass. And she talks about how having like hour time blocks is actually like really proven to help a lot of people. So I definitely recommend trying that. And then something else I have been doing is writing down just like three to four things that I need to finish for the entire day. This has helped me a ton during quarantine because I feel like even though nothing's really changed for me since I've always been working from home, I just feel like not being able to change up your environment, it definitely can make me feel like I'm dragging a little bit and I can kind of get distracted. So when I have like three to four things on my list and I can cross off even just two of them at the end of the day, I feel like accomplished and better about myself. So I recommend trying those two things. They help me even when I'm on the go um, because I know sometimes when we're not in our normal environment that it can be hard to get a lot of things done. So I recommend writing some down and even being happy with one to two of those things crossed off and then also I always bring my mouse with me because it helps me work faster get things done and yeah I just love my mouse so um, I'm gonna work on writing scripts right now for my business and then catch up with you guys in a few and then I also I'm still staying on my meals and that really helps me stay focused because I feel like when I'm fueled with healthy food, I'm not like getting lethargic and tired. So that helps me a lot. And I'm really trying to like stay indoors today because hopefully my allergies will kind of slowly get back to normal. So that is my goal today, but I'm going to try and get a few things done so I can maybe take the day take a, an early day off, but we will see. So the fundamental question you need to ask is, is my invention patent eligible? In other words, has someone else already invented this or is this even possible? Guys, so I got a lot done. As you guys saw, I was practicing some of the scripts because since they are scripts, reading them out loud actually helps me edit them because I feel like there's a difference between when you're going to be like explaining something on video versus just writing like directions how to do something. So I read through all of the scripts and sent them to my boss and we're just gonna like, I write, he edits, and then we have a copywriter that touches them up as well. So it's kind of a process and it starts with me. So it's been quite a bit of work, but keeps me busy. Um, now I am posting for one of my social media clients and basically followed up with her too because we have a newsletter that goes out every month and I just wanted to make sure that it looked okay to her to send it so I followed up with her um, and then I'm gonna post the graphic I made for them on their social media right now and I'll probably schedule a couple more of their posts for the week because I don't want to have to be worrying about that during the week um, so I'm going to do that. I also made a really cool video for them that I might try and edit as well. But yeah, that's pretty much what I have going on. I'm After I do the, these couple things, I'll probably be done for the day because I crossed out three things. And the other 
couple ones. One of them I sent an email to the support because I don't really know how to do it. I'm waiting to hear back from them. So I pretty much got everything done. Just one thing I did not get to, but it's not on a deadline. So I'm going to do that part tomorrow. And yeah, I feel very productive today. This morning I was like lagging a little bit again, but I had a really good lunch. I worked out during lunch. Um, I did like a 20 minute hit and then some leg exercises. So I think that really just woke me up. Um, so my plan tomorrow morning is to probably work out in the morning so that I feel more alive again. Hey guys, so just working away. It was a very stressful morning because the sites I built was hacked um, and Google blacklisted it. So that was very unfortunate. I've never actually had that happen so I had to like figure out how to fix it but now I basically have to wait for Google to review it take it off the blacklisted whatever so that was stressful kind of crazy but I did a nice workout this morning forgot to film it but I just did like sprints up and down the street allergies are still in full effect but feel a little bit better today um, I just heated up my lunch right now and then me and my sister ran to Starbucks and I got a delicious, refreshing tea. Um, and this might be my new favorite. It's so good. So, Leo loves straws, don't you, baby? He <laughs> loves them so much. I literally feel like my life has been me on the computer, working, like, all day. So... Um, I have to call support again because I just want to make sure I'm covering all my bases that this site gets back up and running because um, it's kind of stressful and I really hope I'm doing the right thing. Um, so I'm going to call hosting support, see if they can confirm and help me. Um, yeah, after this, I want to close my computer, move my body, work out a little bit. My eyes from allergies like are so red and it doesn't help when you have to stare at the computer all day so I'm trying to get up periodically and play with my cat just kind of step away from the computer because I'm sure as you guys know graphic design web design it's a lot of sitting and computer work so gotta remember to get the activity in so I'm actually really looking forward to doing another workout later today all right guys, they said to restore a backup and I'm so scared. I don't know if you guys also work with websites, but sometimes it's like terrifying when it's all in your hands and you're not sure if this is going to help or not, but oh, looks like it's complete. So this is the moment of truth. Let's go to the website. Okay, so this is still up, which sucks, but it might take a day or two. And now, yes, okay, thank God. The site is back when you click through it, but we, it's still dangerous and deceptive, which is very annoying, but thank God the backup worked. All right guys, we're going to Trader Joe's. Got my mask that my mom made and it's gonna be interesting. They're very, very strict here. So we might have to wait in line, but I will show you guys what I get. Hey guys, so sitting out on the porch, about to wipe all my groceries down. Um, but I was gonna show you guys a couple of the things I found. First one seasoned kale chips, which sounded delicious. So I'm gonna have to try that in a little bit. Um, and this is the one I'm super excited for. Jicama wraps. It's literally pure jicama, so it has like three grams of carbs per two wraps. Sorry. I thought I made the leap. 
so this is my little grocery haul. So I'm in my parents' garage. I'm gonna do a little home workout. Um, usually on Wednesdays I lift my shoulders because I'm trying to get the shoulder cap, which is like my weakness, especially for bikini competition. So I've been working on building those up. So I'm gonna do a little shoulder workout and then just do kind of like a hit cardio kind of workout. So I'm feeling ready, feeling pretty good. done I feel amazing now um, I feel like super bloated today because I'm supposed to start my time of the month today actually so I feel really bloated and kind of like watery and just icky but working out always helps that feeling I feel amazing now drinking my gallon getting it done and wow it's freaking hot all right guys I got all my shrimp on the skewers and I seasoned it with this. So, I'm going to take it out to the barbecue. I also wanted to make a quick note that I have been doing some custom portraits and I wanted to show you guys kind of how I've been doing them because I've had some people ask me if I can like kind of show the process of how I do it. My hair is looking cray cray. Um, so I use Procreate. I actually purchased this, this I bought off of my sister and it's like literally second generation so it's kind of an old one a little bit slow but I told myself if I can really show myself that I'm dedicated to drawing on it and using Procreate that I might invest in a newer iPad um, but I have been using Procreate on this um, so I wanted to show you guys what I do to create these portraits it's been such a fun way to use my pastime during this quarantine and it like distracts me from getting really bored and it's honestly super fun so here's an example of one I've done recently of me and Leo um, so what I did was I found a picture that I really liked of me and him so here let me just turn it this way. so basically I find a picture and then I trace it. So this is the original picture that's Leo drawn. But um, I trace my face and then you just minimize the picture and then show what you've been tracing. So that looks scary. Um, and then I also put a plant in here. So I've been tracing that too. But yeah, I just trace it and I use very specific pens. The pens are what makes a huge difference. So for this one, I definitely use the studio pen a lot. Um, and I make sure that the streamline is kind of high so that I don't have as many like curves and mistakes. And then I recently did a drawing for a girl and her dog. And I'm so proud of this one. I think it came out super, super nice. And for this one, I used the wet flat brush. 
and that's what created the fur style and I'm super happy with how that came out and I kind of did like a watercolor background which came out really really cool and I might show you guys how I did that next time so I've been having a lot of fun doing some like art projects um, and then I was also going to show you guys that I got some of my art printed and it's on my website for sale right now so I wanted to share that with you guys if you guys are interested in them. Um, I posted the piece of art that I got printed and I did a poll on like who would want that as a, a poster and a lot of you guys said you would. So this is what it looks like. It's on a glossy cardstock type of paper and I got three different colors printed. So got a darker beige and like dark brown, um, that lighter one I showed you, and then a lighter beige color. This one's my favorite. I just think those beige colors look really nice. So those are on my website now for sale um, for like $14 because I had to pay for printing and everything like that. But I just wanted to share that with you guys if you guys are interested. Here it is again. So it says, she will not worry, she will brave this new season one day at a time. And these are the color options. So if you're interested, I'll leave the link down in my bio, or down below in the description box. I'm thinking of Instagram. But yeah, also if you guys want a custom portrait, I will be offering that on my website as well. Um, and then you just send me like a picture that you want me to kind of model it off of. Oh, I'll show you the one last one I did recently. Um, I was so nervous to do this one because she wanted me to draw her baby. And I was just nervous that I wasn't going to get the baby's hair right or anything like that. But it actually came out so, so cute. So here's this one. I put little Jordans on him. So she was really, really happy with that. But... Yeah, if you guys are interested in a portrait, maybe as like a Mother's Day gift, I can get that to you really quickly. It usually takes me only like two days max, so I'll leave both of those links in the description box below. Hey guys, it is Thursday now. Um, I'm about to go on a walk this morning. It's like 9 o'clock um, because I know the allergies get worse throughout the day. But um, I'm going to continue to vlog a little bit of the weekend and Mother's Day. But I'm going to close this one out and um, yeah, a couple of my work calls were canceled today so it'll be an easy work day. But I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of this video and um, if you did I would appreciate it so much. If you gave it a thumbs up, subscribe down below and I will see you guys in my next video.